Hey guys! I'm trying to whisper because I'm currently on the balcony and I feel like people are gonna look at me weird if they see me sitting here talking to a camera and I don't like it when people stare at me. I feel weird. But I don't see anybody on their balcony at the moment. Anyway, what's up guys? How are you doing? Today's video is going to be a very simple laid back. Get ready with me. I'm in Hawaii. But I wanted to just sit down with you guys and chat, show you guys what's in my travel makeup bag. It's actually been so, so requested to do an updated what's in my travel makeup bag. So I'm gonna do that for you today. And it's the perfect occasion since I'm currently traveling. And I mainly wanted to post this video today because I am currently in Hawaii, like I've said 18 times since this video started. And I told you guys in my Urban Outfitters haul that I didn't pre-record while I was gone. I mean, I kind of did. My last video was pre-recorded. The video you're gonna see on Friday was also pre-recorded, but I didn't have a video going up today, Wednesday. But I really, really wanted to get something up, especially since I have a very, very exciting video coming on Friday that I can't even contain myself about. And I didn't want to leave you guys hanging in the middle of the week. So I thought, oh my gosh, let me sit down and film a quick little video. And it's actually perfect timing because, oh my gosh, I hope that you can hear me and that the wind isn't making a lot of sound. But it's perfect timing at the moment because it is currently 12.53 p.m. on Monday and we just got back from Haleakala Crater. We had a sunrise tour and we had to be at the bus at 2 a.m. So we've been up all night and as soon as we got back to the hotel, Danny knocked out. And I was gonna lay down and go to sleep too, but I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna film. So here we are. So obviously you guys know my current go-to travel makeup bag is my Lights Label one. Clearly I have a thing for this color. I know it's September. I know, I know. But I'm sorry, it is summer in September. And I love it, I love it. Mine has been through the ringer, let me tell you. It is all beat up, but I just keep all of my makeup in here. And honestly, I think it's the perfect size. I love that I can see everything right through this guy. And it truly fits everything. Obviously, I didn't pack like a ton of makeup because I'm on a more tropical vacation. And I didn't want to go crazy with the makeup. Like I didn't pack any falsies or anything extravagant. But I'm still gonna show you what I brought. I also packed my Makeup Forever brush bag. It looks like this. this is where I keep keep all of my brushes. I also keep my lip liners in there so they don't get lost in my bag. But I basically have packed all of my essentials. And you know what? I'm just gonna start putting on the makeup as I'm taking stuff out. I feel like it would just be easier that way. But I had to bring my 4-3 Beauty Glisten Up Mist. I have been loving this so much. And I always like to start off with this. I wish this nozzle wasn't as aggressive as it is. Because it's aggressive. But it's so good I look past it. So good. I brought my uh, Patrick Ta fan brush. This little bad boy comes in handy. And I personally prefer my electric fan, but it's a little bit too bulky. I prefer to travel with this. For foundation, I did something really, really weird, and I brought two. My current favorite, of course, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I knew I wanted to bring this to Hawaii. It's so amazing. It's juicy. It's long wearing. I love it. But right before I left, I got this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the mail. And I just threw it in my bag before I left out the door. Like literally, I just threw it in my makeup bag. I was like, oh, I'll test that while I'm over there. So I have been using it for like two days and I don't know how I feel about it, but I also brought this foundation. And then the primer of choice, choice of course is my first aid beauty ultra repair hyaluronic hydrating primer i love this and i especially love it when my skin feels really irritated or it needs a little tlc because it's such a soothing primer i love it and my face is a little bit burnt as you can see i had a little moment yesterday i don't want to talk about it so this primer is perfect. And honestly, when I'm traveling, I try to keep it to one item per category, except for this. But it's just so much easier and I always stick to one product anyway. Oh, I literally forgot to put on my SPF. Okay, well, hopefully it layers nicely on top of my primer. I've never done it this way, but we're gonna do it. This is the Super Goop Sync Screen 100% Mineral Lotion SPF 40. You cannot forget your SPF. Trust me. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I feel like this foundation might be too matte for me. I don't know. I wore it yesterday when we went to dinner and then by the end of the night, my skin still looked really, really nice. I did notice that. I actually preferred how my skin looked at the end of the night versus like when I put on the foundation. It was really weird. But I feel like this foundation might be too flawless for me. But we gotta see because I change my mind about things every five minutes. I truly hate everything before I love it. Is that weird? I can't believe I'm here. 
I truly cannot believe I'm here. I've been getting so many DMs like, how did you, how, how are you there with your anxiety and your crazy fear of flying? Yeah, I feel like this foundation looks dry on me. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I have a crazy, well, I have a fear of everything, but major fear of flying. I also have a major fear of driving. I think the driving fear is worse than flying, which I gotta work on that. But honestly, I don't know what came over me. This was just a trip that I booked really suddenly out of the blue. I mean, I booked it like three months ago, but it was something that I hadn't even thought about. I just decided and I booked it. I have to do things that way because if I don't, I just end up backing out of everything and like not going through with it. So somebody will talk to me about Hawaii, for example, and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, see you in Hawaii. And I don't book it, but I just did it. I was like, 2019 Kathleen needs to get out more and I just booked it. And there was no turning back once you pay for it, you know what I mean? So it was nerve-wracking, do not get me wrong. I already dread the flight to LA because I think it's so freaking long. I'm on, an, I'm on an airplane for five hours and that's the longest I've ever been on an airplane before this trip. And I already hate that, you know, like I hate making that flight. It's so, so long. So imagine this, it's like double. So you get off and then you get right back on another airplane and do it all over again. It's literally double the amount of time to get here and I can't believe I did it either. I, I cannot. Trust me, I am just as shocked as you guys are. I feel like my forehead looks so dry and even the area around my mouth, like my uh, smile lines, they're already looking crusty. Wow, look at us, foundation tests in Hawaii. Ugh, do you see what I mean? This foundation looks so dry on me. I actually think I don't like it at all. Before I sat down to film this video, I didn't know how I feel, but now I'm like outdoors in natural light and ugh. I'm telling you, I liked it at the end of the night. I was like, oh my, my skin looks really good. But that's cause like all my natural oils had come through. I was looking a little dewy. Right now I'm just like Shh. But anyway, I am so glad that I faced my fears. I mean, going back, like getting back on the airplane, like I have all the butterflies in my stomach just thinking about it, but I actually miss my dogs so, 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 so much. So I'm gonna look forward to getting on an airplane to them. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, I'm scared. I only brought one concealer on this trip. Where is it? Oh, I brought my Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I brought this one because it's very, very hydrating and very dewy and I love wearing it on its own. I love setting it. Like I just love it all types of ways. Even though the Jouer Concealer is my favorite for sure, that one's my number one. This one is more versatile for me. Like we went to the beach the other day and I just put this like on my T-zone area and I didn't set it and I still looked really nice and dewy and fresh. So I love this concealer on its own or like with foundation. Today, like I said, uh, I was telling you guys earlier, we went to the Haleakala Crater and we got to see the sunrise. And I spoke about this on my Instagram stories if you follow me, but I have never been so blown away by stars in my life. I live in Miami, so obviously we don't get stars like that in the city, but I have always, 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 since I was a kid, wanted to look up at the night sky and just see it covered in little dots. I've never, ever experienced that before. I would always just like look up at the sky and see these like measly two little dots. And today I got to see everything. <laughs> it was so incredible, guys. Like my whole trip, my whole Hawaii trip was worth it just for that, just for that moment be able to see the stars i saw orion's belt never in a million years did i think i would ever see orion's belt guys i saw the milky way i saw the milky way i have always wanted to see that i saw shooting stars oh my gosh i wasn't blown away we saw the taurus constellation i i just oh my gosh look at my smile lines they're already crazy i electric chair you might actually like it if you have oily skin but i don't know it's not working for mama it's not working for mama. By the way, I set my concealer with my Thrive Cosmetics powder, of course. And then I actually packed two bronzers. I packed the Morphe Icon Bronzer and the Thrive Cosmetics Rhea Bronzer. This one is better for contouring and this one is like a nice warm bronzer. So I like to mix it up and use both sometimes. But today I'm just gonna use the Thrive Cosmetics with my guy, my dude. But yeah guys, it was incredible. I really recommend if you ever go to Maui, do the Haleakala sunrise tour worth it for the stars alone like worth it it honestly like took my breath away literally like, <gasps> like it took my breath away childhood dreams right there like i just i just checked something off my bucket list you know what that is do you guys have a bucket list i highly recommend creating one even if you think there are things that you would never do i never thought i'd come to hawaii that's for sure it's far <laughs> but 
I highly recommend just having a bucket list and writing like 20 things you want to do in your life. It's a nice way to set some goals, you know? It's been really, really beautiful here. I, wow, like honestly, I would 100% move here. I would because it reminds me a lot of Miami, weather-wise. Miami doesn't hold a candle to this paradise, I'm sorry. It doesn't. Miami is way more humid, way more, but you know what I mean. Like I hear um, Honolulu is like very similar to Miami in the sense like it's a city. I'm currently in Maui. I really wanted to go to Kauai. Is that how you say it? Kauai? That was like my number one. I really, 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 really wanted to go there, but we decided to come to Maui instead. And a lot of people told me to come here, so <laughs> I came here. But if I ever come back to Hawaii, I really want to do Kauai because I hear such beautiful things. I prefer like nature and I like to like sightsee. I don't really like like city stuff or like buildings. So I hear Kauai is perfect for that, so. Maybe someday, but I can totally see myself living here, 100%. The only thing is, I think I would eventually get island fever. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I would love to look at this paradise on a daily basis, but I think that because I'm from Miami and I'm from the city life, I, I don't leave my house, but you know what I mean. I think eventually it would get to me and I would need to like get off the island, <laughs> but I feel like that wouldn't happen to me anytime soon. I also brought my ColourPop Z palette thing and this is where I keep my four blushes and some highlights. I'm gonna use Lunar Has It and So Retrograde. I'm gonna mix them. Oh, another thing. The people here are so freaking nice and it got me to thinking like, of course everybody here is so nice. What, what could possibly upset them? Like, look where you live. You know, the people here don't have like the stress of the city life and that crazy fast pace go 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 everything here is so chill and relaxed and like i love it something about this place just makes me feel really tranquil and at peace and i haven't had anxiety since i got here so hawaii i love you i see that bretman rock gets a lot of comments like hey, why don't you move to la why would why would he do that this is literal paradise and i feel like this place is like a magical vortex of some sort because they don't have snakes here we were up like at the top of the mountains kind of like in the jungle area we were like sightseeing and stuff and we asked about snakes <laughs> there are snakes all over miami there are a lot of crazy creatures all over florida period especially south florida oh my god by the way this bag fits huge pallets like this one is pretty big and then this one's even bigger the one i just showed you really quickly um, that's my eyeshadow palette. This one is my eyeshadow palette, but I can't show it to you right at this moment. I mean, I don't know if I can. Stay tuned for next video. But anyway, that also fits in my bag. Let's see, what else do I got here? What am I missing? Oh, my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna do like the simplest eye look in the history of the world. But like I was saying, yeah, this place has no snakes. Um, no rabies, no big animals, like nothing really, really scary. What is this magical land? I am shy. What is this place? Danny was like, no snakes. When are we moving here? He's terrified of snakes. I'm going to just say it. If you have been thinking about coming here, but you've been putting it off and looking for the right sign, I'm your sign. Do it. This place is so beautiful and so worth it. And even though it took me a thousand years to get here, I feel like that plane ride was so worth it. Just for Orion's belt. No, just kidding. Just the, the views here are beautiful. We went to a beach called Secret Beach yesterday and it was so magical. Honestly, the most beautiful beach I've ever been to in my entire life. And I mean, I live in Miami Beach, which is nowhere near as beautiful as Secret Beach or Hawaii's beaches. But we have really, really beautiful water in Miami. I will tell you that. Like our beaches are very beautiful. There's just something so magical about the beaches here. Like the sand, it's like a darker brown and it's like powdery. It's so fine. The beach in Miami is like, kind of sharp because there are a lot of shells. This beach is just like so soft. And then you have like the scenery, the mountains in the back. Blown away by this place, blown away. And I'm only halfway through my trip. I did almost drown though. And that's not me being Kathleen and exaggerating. Like I was I seriously almost drowned. Um, I'm not used to waves. Like in Miami, there are no waves. Obviously people surf here for a reason. And um, a, a couple times actually, a couple times, a wave got me took me down and it was hard for me to get back up. Not gonna lie, thought I was gone in there for a second, but we were fine, I was fine, I was fine, I was fine, I was fine. Luckily my friend Stephanie was right next to me and she went into mom mode and picked me up by my hair and then we're good. There was also a sea turtle swimming right next to us. I'm telling you, this place is from a storybook. 
Somebody wrote this place up and brought it to life somehow. I don't know how. I'm loving Mai Tais, by the way. I hadn't had a Mai Tai ever until I had one here and they're delicious. So that has been my drink of choice for the week and I have no regrets. I'm really excited because we're doing a tour that's called the my battery is dying. <laughs> it's called the Road to Hana. Hana. Road to Hana. And I'm super pumped because it takes you like by these waterfalls. And I've never seen like a waterfall up close in person. Like a, a big waterfall. So I am very, 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 very excited about that. I'm going to put on one of my favorite eyeshadows. Wow. So fishy. So champagne fishy. Oh, that wind's blowing. Bada bing. Bada boom. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of a darker color on the outer corners. That's a blue color, but I'm gonna cover it up with some brown. I just wanted like a bluey brown. <sighs> My freaking camera died. I thought I had enough time, but I did not. So I just put it to charge for like 10 minutes and hopefully I can wrap this video up. But I just finished up my eyes. I added like a brown underneath my lower lash line, smoke it out, make it more smoky. And now I'm going in with the other products in my bag. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in Lit before I go in with mascara. Wow, I hope you can hear me. Oh my gosh, I hate this foundation. Ugh. Hate is a strong word, so I don't wanna say that, but I do not like it at all. It emphasizes my texture. It looks dry. If you have dry skin like me, stay far away from this foundation. Is it because I'm sitting outside? I don't know, I've worn this foundation. This is the third day I wear it, and I haven't hated it as much as I hate it today. <gasps> Why? I brought two different mascaras, my ColourPop brown mascara, just in case I wanted like a casual brown mascara day. And then I brought my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is the best mascara, especially when I'm on like a tropical vacation because it's a tubing mascara. You don't get any smudging or any raccoon eyes with tubing mascaras, so. Okay, and now I just need to do my lips. And honestly, I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Dazzle Glass Lip Gloss in Moth to Flame. That looks weird without lip liner. I know, but I'll do that after. <laughs> I also brought my eyelash curler. Can't go anywhere without it. And then I have a few lip products. I brought a bunch of nude sticks lip products because I love these. They're so easy to apply. They're in a little pencil. Love them. Lip liners, my ColourPop lip collabs, all of them. You've seen them a million times. The Ofra Rodeo Dry Gloss. And then I have the Roller Liner Liquid Liner to create my wing. And then of course, um, my brow product, which I brought the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Nude Sticks Brow Gel. And then I also brought the Glitter Primer from NYX. That is the third mother effing time that my camera dies on me. I decided to order a mimosa while I was waiting for my camera. Oh, gloss doesn't work with wind. It doesn't. I was trying to actually order a guamosa, which is a guava mimosa, but they brought me a freaking regular mimosa. So upset. I'm still drinking a mimosa and I'm still in Hawaii, so it's okay that it's not a mimosa. I'm still, I'm still very happy. But anyway guys, I had to charge my camera to wrap up the video because it died on me again. But I pretty much showed you everything. Oh my gosh, somebody's looking at me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say bye. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super weird and random and kind of pointless, but um, I love you and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Aloha.